Good afternoon reception. For today's story time, I have chosen to read a Disney book, which is actually probably one of my favourites when I was really, really little, because I just really love the two animals that are in it, and it's called The Fox and the Hound. Now, I love foxes, and I love dogs, so I just love this story. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I think we are ready to begin. One spring morning, a mother fox dashed through a meadow carrying her baby. A hunter and his dog were chasing them and the mother fox needed to find a safe place to find her cub. The mother fox soon came to a patch of tall grass. She covered up her baby and ran away, hoping the dogs would follow her. The dogs came sniffing through the grass, but they did not see the frightened baby fox. When the hunter and his dogs disappeared, the baby poked his tiny nose out of the grass and sniffed around. The little fox waited and waited, but there was no sign of his mother. Luckily, a kindly owl named Big Mama had seen everything. She flew down to comfort the little fox. Now don't you worry, said the gentle owl. Big Mama will find someone to take care of you. Big Mama quickly found her two friends, Dinky the Sparrow and Boomer the Woodpecker. Please help me, said Big Mama. We must find a new home for this little fox. Dinky and Boomer had been trying to catch a caterpillar for their dinner, but they stopped to help Big Mama. What can we do to help the little fellow, they asked, while the caterpillar crawled away quietly. We'll leave that nice... Willow tea, tweed right to him, Big Mama explained. She'll know what to do after that. And so Big Mama and Boomer grabbed a piece of willow tweed's washing from her clothesline. When the widow ran after the birds, they dropped the clothing right on top of the baby fox. Goodness, cried Willow Tweed. When she spotted the baby fox, what are you doing here? The warm-hearted widow loved the little fox at once. You're just like a toddler, said Widow Tweed. I think I will call you Todd for short. Todd liked the widow and his new name very much. Not far from the widow's house lived a hunter named Amos. He had just come home with a puppy. His name is Copper, Amos told his old dog Chief. He'll be a big help to us when he grows up. But Chief did not want any help and he pretended not to care about Copper. Look how cute the puppy is. When Copper curled up beside Chief and fell asleep, Chief decided the puppy wasn't so bad after all. As Copper grew up, he became very curious about the world around him. One day, as he went sniffing through the forest, he found himself nose to nose with a fox. My name is Copper, said the puppy. My name is Todd, said the little fox. And before the day was over, the fox and the hound were best of friends. That evening, Amos the hunter was very angry when Copper came home. He decided to tie up Copper so that the puppy could not get away from his doghouse again. Todd hid in the bushes and watched. He was very sad to see his new friend in trouble. Todd decided to visit his friend to cheer him up. But as soon as Chief smelled the fox, he began to chase him. Oh no! When Amos saw Chief chasing Todd, the hunter was sure Todd was after his chickens. So Amos chased Todd all the way to Widow Tweed's house. You keep that fox away from my chickens, Amos shouted angrily at Widow Tweed. You leave Todd alone, Widow Tweed declared. He would never hurt your chickens. Now go away. Todd was very frightened, and so was the widow. She knew that Todd would get hurt if he went near Amos's property again. Todd, you'd better stay in the house, she said sadly. A few days later, Todd watched from Widow Tweed's windows as Amos packed for a hunting trip. Todd was even sadder when he saw his friend Copper disappear from view as Amos drove away. As the weeks passed, Copper learned how to be a hunting dog just like Chief. 
Soon, Kappa was no longer a puppy, but a full-grown dog with a nose that could track anything. Wow. Back home, Todd grew tired of waiting for Kappa to come back. He decided to pay a visit to Amos's house to see if they had returned. On the way, he ran into his old friend, Big Mama. Be careful, she warned. Copper is grown up, just like you. His job is to chase foxes now. He can't be your friend anymore. Todd didn't believe Copper could have changed so much. At last, Copper came home. He sat in the front seat with Amos, howling as only a dog can howl. Chief just covered his ears. That night, Todd heard Copper's howling and ran over to greet his pal. Copper was surprised to see Todd, but sadly told him to go away. We can't be the best of friends anymore, Copper tried to explain. I have a job to do, and that job is to hunt foxes. Todd tried to argue, but Chief suddenly began to bark. Todd tried to get away from Chief. He zigzagged as fast as he could, but another dog was right behind him. It was Copper. The dogs had gotten loose. I won't let him find you, Copper barked. Run to the bridge. I'll lead him the other way. Oh, no. But Chief was a smart old hunting dog. He was waiting for Todd on the bridge. Moments later, a rumble surprised them both. Chief and Todd looked up to see a train coming at them at full speed. Todd squeezed into a tiny space as the train roared past, but Chief was not so lucky. He was forced right off the bridge by the speeding train. Oh no. When Copper found Chief, he blamed Todd. This is what happens when you're friends with a fox, he thought angrily. I won't let him get away again. Todd was very frightened. As soon as he returned home, he curled up in Widow Tweed's arms. Suddenly, Amos pounded on the door. Your fox almost got my dog killed tonight, Amos shouted at the window. He's a nasty, wild animal. Widow Tweed shouted back at Amos. You're the nasty one. Leave us alone. Widow Tweed knew Amos was right about Todd being a wild animal. He didn't belong on a farm any longer. He needed to be free. She brought Todd to a safe place in the woods and hugged him. This will be your home now, Todd, she said sadly. It will be better for you here. Todd watched her go, feeling very lonely and sad. But he wasn't alone for long. His old friend, Big Mama, was watching out for him. And she led him to a lovely lady fox named Fixie. Soon, Todd had a new best friend. One day, the two foxes heard gunshots. It was Amos and Copper out hunting. Run, Vixie, Todd shouted as they dashed away. The loud growl of a bear interrupted the chase and suddenly the angry bear rushed towards all of them. Shocked, Amos stepped back right into a steel trap. Oh no! Copper bravely tried to protect his master, but the tough old bear threw the faithful dog to the ground. Todd stopped running when he heard Copper's barking. Copper tried to help me once, he remembered. He raced back to try and save his old friend from the angry bear. The bear forgot about Copper as he chased Todd to the river. Todd tried to escape across an old log, but when the bear followed him, the log broke. Todd and the bear plunged into the cold water below. Todd pulled himself to the shore, only to find Amos aiming his gun right at him. Oh no! Copper wouldn't let Amos hurt Todd. Quickly, he stood in Amos's way, protecting his friend. Amos lowered his gun. You're right, he said. The fox saved us from the bear. Copper then went and stood by Amos as they watched Todd escape. When Willow Tweed saw Amos limping home, she hurried out to see what had happened. As she bandaged his hurt foot, Amos told her about Todd, Copper and the bear. I was wrong, said Amos. Your fox is nice after all. Willow Tweed just smiled. She knew Todd would be safe from Amos from now on. A few days later, Todd and Vixie sat on a cliff overlooking the valley. 
They looked down at their friends and wished them happiness. Now I know what the two most beautiful things in the world are, Todd told Vixie. Love and friendship. Todd and Vixie agreed that they were lucky to have both. The end. What a lovely story. And they are right. Love and friendship is what is most important. And it doesn't matter if you're different. You can still be the best of friends. The fox and the hound were different, but they were still friends. I hope you enjoyed this story just as much as I did. It was one of my favourites when I was little. Have a great afternoon and I will see you next week for more fun adventures and fun activities and fun story times. Goodbye everyone. Adios.